Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK at www.xcase.co.uk. Please take a look at the website. Today I'm going to look at a Shenbro rack mount. It's called the Shenbro RM9125. And it's a massive nine news high with 50 hot swap caddies. Now, this is a big chassis. It's also a very heavy chassis. Actually, because I'm doing a build with this, I've actually taken out all the hot swap caddies and the drives because you can't physically move it once they're in, even with two people. So basically what you've got, you've got these 48 hot swap caddies going down and across and then you've got a further two on the top which can be used for an OS and they've just got rear SATA connections as opposed to the rest of them which are connected via a mini SAS backplane. On the front of the chassis we've just got a couple of USBs, your normal activity lights, your power switch, room for a slim CD-ROM, these excellent strong handles. On the side of the chassis as well you've got these two handle grips, so with somebody either side you can lift it around okay, but as I said I wouldn't recommend it when it's fully populated because it really is heavy then. So, just looking at the back of the drive section, these are the two SATA connections I was talking about for your operating system drives. And then the rest of the case has got these mini SAS connections. Each mini SAS backplane controls four drives. So presumably there must be 12 of them. Now, this is one of the very few chassis on the market at the moment that will take um, a quadway 13 by 16 motherboard, something like the Tyan S8812. It'll obviously also take all smaller boards, just standard and extended ATX for quad C oh, sorry for dual quad CPUs, uh, ATX and even micro ATX. So it's got a retention bar, hold down your cards. Room for two 80mm fans. Standard seven slot expansion. And one of the reasons it can actually take the extremely large motherboards is because the power supplies are underneath the mounting plate for the motherboard. So we've got these swappable fans here. Uh, these are actually connected to the front of the chassis and uh, an alarm will go off if they fail. So we've got four 80 mils there and a couple of 120 mils either side. Then we've got these 3 plus 1 redundant power supply uh, there's a 1300 watt and a 1600 watt version. I have tried both on any, pretty much all um, combinations of processors and both work fine. So it's really just a, a matter of choice if you want the higher wattage. It's got these four essential 80mm hot swap fans. Now all the fans in this chassis are high powered. They are noisy, but they're here to do a job. So don't think this is going to be something you can sit next to you in an office. It's made for a data center and it does sound like a jet engine. So what else can I tell you about it? Well, Fortunately, because SSD drives are getting very popular at the moment, uh, and larger at last, you 
can't just use a three and a half inch drive in the caddies as shown here. There is now an adapter which still fits in the three and a half inch drive bay um, to replace the three and a half inch with a two and a half inch drive so you can in theory fill the 48 hot swap bays up with SSDs or indeed a mixture of both as I'm going to do in the next couple of days for somebody. So the quality of this chassis, well it is a lot of money so it's going to be good. I mean you're talking almost a decent second hand car for the cost of this. Nigh on two and a half grand. Not cheap I know. But if you're spending twenty or thirty thousand pounds on a a server to run just about everything, then you're not really going to care too much. Now it's a bit of a bugger to work with. Well, I say it's a bit of a bugger. It's quite easy um, if you just do things in order. So what I'd recommend first job before anything else is get your mini SAS cables into the mini SAS connections because otherwise if you put your motherboard in as I would do normally and then the processors etc on top of it it kind of gets rid of this gap here and then it's a real pain to get your hands down to do the uh, mini SAS connections but if you do those first just pull them up the top then it makes life a lot easier. As per normal on our website we do sell the chassis but as for this customer and many others we've done recently on this chassis, we'll also build it for you. Um, you'll probably find that it doesn't cost you a lot more than doing it yourself. So, I think that's it. As I said, I'm going to do a build on this particular one in the next day or so. I might put that on YouTube as well. If I've not done one before, I can't remember, but I'll check. And that's it, the Shembro RM9125, the ultimate storage monster as I put it. This one's getting filled up with 48 3 terabyte drives, so that's uh, plenty of storage. That's it, thanks for listening, bye for now.